so hey everyone in this video we are going to see that how can you use black which is a python based code formatter for formatting your codes firstly let's open our browser and search for black pi pi black is the uh, you can see module which you require and pi pi is the website click on first link this is the basic command for installation that is pip install black so there is a question that why do we need this see black is a standardized uh, you can say code formatter there are many companies which uses a standardized banner for writing codes and to avoid all the mess created by any coder we use black which can make our code you can say much easier code formatting much easier in just one click okay so what is the you can say command for this you have to type in your terminal black and then the file name just it's just a, a simple task now let's move in our vs code Firstly, we need to you can say install our black. That is pip install black. Pip install black. Okay. I have already installed this, so it is showing requirement already satisfied. Okay. Now create a new file, which will be main dot py. Okay. Let's close this terminal. and let's uh, start by just doing a basic example let's define an array whose elements will be 1 2 and 3 so this is an array with the elements 1 2 and 3 now we have to format this code using black what you have to do is open your terminal you can just open this by clicking this and this this new terminal and then you just have to type black and then main dot py now you will see here the change click here you can see that a space is added between every element you can say at the start of every element now let's create another array b equal to 3 4 in 4 i will give space but in 5 i will not now let's see black main dot py okay okay uh, sorry we need to save this in firstly then again okay so this is the some you can see basic example of code formatting by black if you have array like this something 1 uh, 2 and then in next line this all this now let's see here is one more command for you can say if you want to format many If you want to format many, you can say many files like in a one click. Then what you have to type is black and then dot. Okay, just a second. Sir, so, uh, there is some syntax error. Okay, then control S and then type. Yes, you can see that this is again reformatted. So this is a basic usage, but If you want to do, you can say, on just save. Whenever you save this program, this will be auto formatted. Then, how can you do is this? Firstly, open your settings. Here, go on file, and then preferences. Uh, where is preferences? Here, and then click on settings. By clicking, by clicking this button, you can open its JSON file. Here is the JSON file for your settings. 
now go in your extensions tab and uh, search this extension that is black formatter black formatter this will be from microsoft store sorry microsoft.com scroll down and you will find this command copy this command firstly you need to install this extension and then copy this command then come back in your settings.json here you have to paste this command and then and then just save this now let's try this here uh, firstly let me show you what is this this is your default formatter this will be black formatter and when it will format on save on save it is set true okay now let's try uh, we can just do this and close our terminal now I will uh, I will press control s this will get formatted automatically okay so as you can see that on saving your program your code will you can say automatically formatted so guys that's all for this video i hope you have liked this now let's see you next time